In fact, that is one of the deception of the last days. Huh? That you can come to the Olympics and replay the Last Supper and they ask, they say, there is nothing in it. That's how Satan wants everybody to be, keep saying that is, it, that thing is us not taking Satan serious. So if, you are, if people don't know where the church is coming from, when they say we want to take the seven mountains, they don't understand how God meant these things to be fulfilled. Dominion is spiritual, brothers and sisters. So you cannot come and overlook and say, let's have our own BB Niger. Let's have our own Olympics. There's nothing like that. Huh? Kayanos, 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 fresh tongues, Kayanos, fresh tongues. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos! That is fundamental. There is no intelligence for you outside your Bible. Oh. There are people that is seeking for all instruction that God tell me, God tell me that you refuse to read. They know, you see, even if you get instruction, it is not trusted until it is tested in the scripture. Stop hoping. <laughs> A brother chatted me, you know, and asked me and said that I have a problem. I cannot hear God. Apostle, I want to hear God. I can't hear God. I want to hear God. I want to hear him clear. I want to hear him. I want to hear God. Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. I asked him. So he asked me, how? How can I hear God? I said, ah, ah it's easy. I said, your Bible. The person said, I know. But I, <laughs> I want to hear God now. I want to. I say your Bible. Say no, Apostle. I want to hear God. I don't know how else to hear God. How are you sure that that thing you heard is God? Huh? How are you even sure? If Satan can quote scripture, how are you even sure that the one that is not even tested in the scripture is sure? You are joking with some of you underestimate Satan. You know, I was talking with my brother. Uh, uh, I was talking with my brother Uche the other day when I went to. So, you know, we are discussing and we stumbled on. We are talking about Satan and stuff. So, <laughs> it's only believers that you just come and call Satan. Maybe you call him Rat, small boy. He's our Pentecostal jargon. You called him. We called him Rat. Called him small boy. It's not in your Bible. <laughs> I'm telling you, Jesus took Satan very, very serious. Called him the prince of this world. Called him the god of this world. Called him the great serpent, the one that deceives all the world. Like Satan stand, deceive everybody in the world. Do you know how intelligent people are in this world? Satan deceive everybody. Satan went to heaven, went to God's angel, collected one over three. Do you, do you know that? Do you know how intelligent angels are? It is a class of being that we are. Doesn't mean that we are pa papa more intelligent than angels. And a, a being deceived one over three, and they left God and followed him. And you say he's a rat. That is a small rat. <laughs> Jesus took Satan very serious, with all seriousness. Now, that doesn't nullify, okay, the fact of the victory that we have. But that victory is only in Christ. Satan did not suddenly become a small rat in your eyes. It is before Jesus that he is mesmerized, my friends. It's, a small, it's before Jesus. Once you remove Jesus, the smallest demon can lessen you like tube. You are like this small demon. One can let like tube. He will lessen you. Do you know you can be macho like this? Small demon will start causing headache for you. With all your stamina, you you small headache, small toothache. You start crying, small toothache. Without what you open more job, banyereba. Okwanso wo, huh? 
small demon, small demon. You and small demon will keep laboring. And you say, Satan, you are a rat. No. You know, now, the reason why I'm saying this is not to make Satan big. It is to desensitize believers from, from unnecessary proud and unintelligent spiritual posture. Okay? Satan likes you to not take him serious. He's taking you serious, but you are not taking him serious. Okay, why is Satan trying to trap you with masturbation when you don't even know anything in secondary school? If it is not that he has taken your destiny more serious than you took yourself. So he's trying to block the possibility of you stumbling into God. He went ahead. When you don't know anything, that's when Satan started fighting you. He has started fighting a long time ago. So he's not fighting that you. He's fighting the you of the future. So Satan took you so serious and you, you don't take him serious. Ah. Are you seeing the point now? It is to desensitize you from the fact that you can just come around like this and then trivialize spirituality. In fact, that is one of the deception of the last days. Huh? That you can come to the Olympics and replay the Last Supper and they ask, they say, there is nothing in it. That's how Satan wants everybody to be, keep saying that is, it, that thing is us not taking Satan serious. He can enter social media. He can act something. Say, there is nothing. There is nothing. It's just people acting. That if we want, we act our own. There is nothing like that. There is nothing like your own. Now, 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 let me tell you. One of the mistakes that people make in talking about the kingdom age and the kingdom is that Every made is, is the mistake didn't start today. It started with I don't want to call the church. Yeah? Yeah. That one. It started with them. These men conquered the world. Though. Like they are the world powers. So if you are, if people don't know where the church is coming from. When they say we want to take the seven mountains, they don't understand how God meant these things to be fulfilled. You have to understand the position of Jesus first. Because he said that my kingdom is not of this world. So, to take the mountains is not to take the, the world that is condemned to, for fire. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen, you are looking for a mountain... That the church should conquer the mountain. The church should be here. The church has been there a long time. It's not today. The church didn't start today. Don't because you are born in 2020 something. Don't because you are born in 1980 something or 1990 something. Doesn't mean that the church just appeared. Church has history. Are you getting it? Ah, what are you saying? The church was so big that they crossed into Asia and all of all the peninsula everywhere. It is from the headquarters of the church that they appoint king in, 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 in Spain, appoint king in England, appoint king in Germany, appoint king everywhere. The church is so strong that they appoint territorial kings everywhere in the world. If you refuse, they come with what they call crusades. Crusades was not originally so winning adventure. And force you to bow. They have men that go on those journeys and they are called knights. The world bowed to the church for hundreds of years, not five years. Hundreds of years. Until it became clear that God was not in it. And even that, Satan possessed it. Like he has never possessed anything again. That is why till today, even God doesn't want to walk that route. Anytime a ministry or denomination is setting themselves up to do that kind of thing, God will remove himself and even attempt to bring that thing down. Because the last time it happened, we entered into what we call medieval dark age. But it's the church. So you now find out. Ask yourself again, you that want to go and take the mountain, what does it mean? to take the mountain, take which mountain. Dominion is spiritual, brothers and sisters. So you cannot come and overlook and say, let's have our own BB Niger. Let's have our own Olympics. There's nothing like that. Huh? 
There is, there is nothing. You don't have an alternative universe, okay? People like John Alexander Dewey now appeared and had, what was the name of that city? Zion, Zion, whatever. I said that he is the Elijah that is to come. And that's how that one went that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen to me. Dominion, as far as God is concerned, is the influence of the kingdom in you affecting everything. If people do not behave and think like Christ, huh? we have not done dominion. No. That's what it means to take the mountain. What it means to take your mountain is not for you to be the prominent, the most richest person. That's not your calling. It is to compel all rich people to play by the tenets of the scripture, even if they are not believers. I hope you know. I hope you know it's possible. There is a way you become a believer and live in, in a campus, in a community. Everybody there. I want to ask, in Babylon, is everybody a Christian? Is everybody a Jew? But because of the way a man lived, all of them were commanded to behave in a certain way. So their morality has been shaped. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's what is called taking a mount. Are you seeing it now? So if you come to a business meeting, there are some things that should not be discussed. There is a way money should not be made. There are some things that should not be done. Eh? There are some business... When I hear some things, people talk, the way they want to make money, I just know that. Uh, they say, want to take mountain like that, leave it. The mountain has taken you. How did I even land here? That's not my business. So if you come and say, is there Olympics? Let's find our own. There is nothing like that. If it is like that, why is Satan fighting to own that Olympics? Why? Why are you leaving it for him? Why is it that somebody wrote Jesus on his clothes? They banned him. If, it's, if you say he's not, Shabi is just Jesus. Now, is there anything there? After all, you can write Jesus and it's not in your heart. But, but leave it for us. They will not. If it doesn't mean anything, why did you act those things? Why did you put it there? Don't know, you are the one not taking Satan serious. So, the job of Satan in the last days is to masquerade in such a way that you will take it that anybody that doesn't follow him means that you are not intelligent enough. Are you seeing it now? But he's Satan. How can an intelligent person tell you that there are up to 17 discovered uh, uh, genders? How many? I think there are more. Who can give me an estimate here? Okay, plus, plus, that we have not fully discovered all the genders. Are you a man or a woman? Finish. Are you a man or a woman? Is there anybody here that is neither man or woman? Come out, you need deliverance. Those people have suddenly made us to think that if we don't think stupidly and foolishly as them, that we are not intelligent enough. And you said that Satan doesn't know what he's doing. So the people that are foolish are making you think you are foolish. And the day you want to change it, that's the way you know that there is a spiritual force behind that their action. You think it's just try it. Try it. Consistently start writing some things on social media on Facebook. They will start making you invisible. They will reduce your visibility because they don't want I, I know what I'm saying. Are you getting me? Say after me, I'm not afraid of Satan. I'm not afraid of Satan. But, I'm him but I'm taking him serious. Say after me, I'm not afraid of Satan. I'm not afraid of Satan. But, I'm him him but I'm taking him and his work serious. If you give Satan small space like this, just perch. You know squatting now? Have you squatted or have you been squatted? Both of them, have you? Mm -hmm. How many of you here, you have squatted? Raise your hand now. You have squatted somebody. Raise your hand. So you have both squatted and you have been squatted. So you understand the mystery of squatting. Am I correct? If you allow Satan to squat, after some time, he will own the room. Have you not seen people like you have not squatted people like that? 
you are squatting them, they went and brought their brother. You are squatting them, they brought their friend. And they came and they are using your pot to cook. And wearing your... How many of you, you have seen it, man? After some time, the way they are behaving in the room, you actually, people will think that you are the one they are squatting. That's what Satan does to you when you allow him to enter small and squat. After some time, he will become the ogre. If you are with me so far, say amen. amen. Say after me, I'm not afraid of Satan. But I will take him serious. Oh. Even if Satan do like this, and they say, don't worry, it's not that serious. Hmm, I lie. It's serious. Because if you allow something small from Satan, anything you tolerate from Satan is what he will use to finally slaughter you. Even if it is small, don't tolerate it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Don't tolerate it. If you tolerate headache, let's assume it's sickness, one day you will tolerate cancer. Start with take it. Yes, that's the mystery of staying in health, divine health. Huh? When the pain is still small, attack it brutally that time at, as if it's a matter of life and death. Sometimes it's when people don't do anything about the sickness or their affliction until it has grown beyond measure. Then when they now try to handle it, it, it cannot be. That time the thing was small. That's the way you should have run. But you did not do anything. You always say, and care, doctor, I walk with those here. You see, Apostle, no. That time, has it not happened to you? There was a time that before you became very, very sick, you heard the sign two weeks ago. How many of you it has happened to you? When you had the sign, something was prompting you to release an utterance. Release an utterance. Or even as you release utterance, you adjust your lifestyle and all that, you did neither of them. Then one week later, you are now down. Like Dennis. Then when you are now down, are you with me? Are you sure you are with me? There was a time the sickness knocked at the door. Every demonic affliction, many demonic affliction doesn't come suddenly. It's knocked on the door. You are the one that didn't take it serious. You see, sometimes when it comes, it has happened to you. You just dreamed of it. Woke up and say, in the name of Jesus, Father, every trouble, I bind you. Every trouble, in the name of Jesus, I take you away. Here, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of covenant. Nothing bad can happen to me. As his first, first job done. Hmm? That's how they work. Go and check back. You will see that the thing was there showing you the sign. You were ignoring. It has not slowed you down. It has not really stopped you. So you kept pushing. Until when they have, they have formed the demonic squadron has fully placed themselves around your life. Then the main one will strike. When you want to run like this, they have blocked you. You go like this, they have blocked you. You go like this, they have blocked you. You can even chat me. I might not have time to see the message yet. As I'm talking to you now, the message, my WhatsApp chat is 100. And I've answered 100 and it's still remaining hundreds. I don't know when I will get to your own. So before I get to your own, Satan will call Orioli. <laughs> now, normally I should have gotten to your own very fast, but you don't know Satan. He will work things together well enough to make sure in that season that it will even be hard to get across to the person that would have instantly helped you. That is why you should be out from the... As soon as he knocks, catch him and be beating him. That time is small. You are doing business and suddenly you lost 5,000. You said it's just 5... You are, let's, let's assume it's... You lost 5,000. Say, it's just 5,000. It's not big money. Next time you lost 7,000. That's how it started. Oh no, Zubahana, you 2,000. You lost only 2,000 and you are doing three days dry fasting. Yes, that's how to do it. That is a sign of a bigger burglary that Satan has planned. Nobody just fell, even spiritually. Satan started small. But you did not take him serious. You called him, you are a rat.
He even prayed in tongues and covered it and went and ministered and people fell under power. He said, if, in fact, Satan will help you and do the analysis. I'm telling you, listen to me, oh, I've been around. Huh? Satan will explain to you and tell you and say, if something is, is Satan, oh, he's trying to make you stay at peace. He's trying to get you to be at ease. He's trying to get you to lose your guard. He's trying to get you not to take the thing serious. He will tell you if it is that serious, why did God move in the service? Just don't take it too seriously. It's not that bad. Yes, something, but it's not that bad. Just uh, uh, when you have time, you address it. Maybe next month. Huh? Okay, when you go, if you see Papa, you tell him. But you know when he started. Go and check. If you trace your life around what I'm saying, you had the sign. And Satan convinced you with scripture not to take it too serious. If you want to take it serious, he will allow the anointing to move. He will send his agents to your meeting to be falling everywhere. I went somewhere to minister. I said, at the count of three, shout Jesus. We have not shouted. Some people say, ah! I don't know all shouts here. Yeah? Sometimes that you said God is about to touch me. Sometimes some people that is it, they are not the ones. They are there. Let me don't forget this thing, Pastor. Hmm? Some of those people that fell under power doesn't want you to get to the real person that God wants to touch. And some of those three people, so when they say there are three people, the first two are demonic agents. They fell. And then you people that is joining the man of God to count, we say, ah, they are already three, so let's relax. We have not gotten to the person yet. We have not gotten to the person. So that's why, yes now, the first time I saw it was my father in the Lord, he was ministry, and people fell, fell. He said, this is not the one. And I said, I, I saw he, he's possible that this is not the one. I said, no, wow. I never believed that. I thought once you fall, it's ended. Satan can fall for you so that you can call him a rat and not take him serious. <laughs> yes. You can say, God told me there are seven people here. The first five are not from God. They are demons. and They are demonized. Some of them might not know really by themselves that Satan is using them. But Satan knows what he has planted in them, that it is enough to be triggered. Listen to me. Eh? As you are now, I hope you know that God can use you without your knowledge. There is a way you can be full of God. Your greeting of God, you just feel like greeting somebody and the person will tell you that that's all he needed in that moment. That means you are used even beyond your imagination. It was not as if you planned it. That is how Satan can also use people without them really knowing that they are being used. So five of them will come. And they are now in front. Polluting everywhere. As they are doing that, they are now doing it. They will block the people. You that God wants to help. You say, huh. since God has touched people, Lord, next time you will touch me. Next, as soon as your faith shifts it to next time, your, your result will be next time. That's why as long as God is still moving, open your heart. Stop counting the number of people that has fallen. Who told you? Anyway, there is the other side. The other side, a deaf person. And then seven deaf people will be healed instantly. It means that by that one rebuke, eh, other spirits of deafness responded and left. One rebuke was enough to deal with them. So many times, that has a major declaration. Are you seeing it now? 